there is a sleeping person in the house, and this is a good way to wake her up. And so I'm going to let you listen to a little bit, not much. But I just finished the pick guard. I need to take the pick guard off, take a razor blade, and bevel along the edges because this is actually four layers with different colors kind of alternating. And when you bevel it, when you bevel it, you're going to see along the edge nice banding. I goofed up, but then I made the best of it. I ordered long scale bass strings for it, so they're too heavy for this to um, tune it normal. So what I did was I just lowered it a fourth, and the, the action is still really nice. Nice neck. Um, good pickups. It's going to sound kind of scratchy because uh, not a good mic in there, but you can kind of get an idea of the tone. Pretty pleased at how it turned out. Let me plug this thing in. Um, so the lowest string is. If it was tuned like a regular one, this would be the lowest string. saying, but John, you don't have knobs on that. And I'm thinking, or John, you're a knob, since it's deer rawhide back, what would be better than making deer antler knobs? And so that is the ending of the base um, for you bow people out there. It's been about zero degrees, like day and night, and windy and crummy and not good for working in the pole barn. But in a day or so, we're supposed to get up to about 40 degrees, I even heard 50, and you better believe it, when it warms up, I'm gonna be in a pole barn working like a madman, making bows. My distraction is basically done. It's gonna take like no time to make the knobs for that, and I actually, you know, it's no big deal. I can turn them without, so that is not pressing. There we go. Nice short scale bass, go with my Hoffner. Thank you for listening, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay up.